We all know it's a pretty dangerous time out there to be, uh, you know, uh, engaging in picking sides. And um, in some interesting interview or comments by Bobby Lee have resurfaced that have him getting canceled by, um, well, it looks like Ethan Klein's fans and other people on the left, as well as um, perhaps a massive cringe uh, post massive backfire from a bunch of Hollywood people who signed a letter, uh, you know, telling the president to release hostages. I, I don't really know how that works. Um, I guess expecting celebrities to understand, you know, some of the most basics uh, of things is uh, too much. And now a lot of the people that signed that letter are suffering the wrath of their woke fans, mainly people like Jordan Peele. I'll start with the celebrities being celebrities. You see Amy Schumer, Sasha Baron Cohen, Chris Rock, Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow, Katy Perry, Bradley Cooper, Justin Timberlake, and more sign an open letter to President Joe Biden calling for the release of all hostages taken by Hamas. Wow. What, a inc what an incredibly bold position. First of all, I don't know... Um, I'm not exactly sure how many hostages the president has, but apparently, yes, I, I guess, I guess, yes, uh, President Biden, please release them. Most of the comments, did they sing Imagine though? Uh, Mark Dice, thank God it's all over for Hamas now. Take that. Can we send them as replacements? Great idea. I hope Joe releases them immediately. What a vapid, pointless thing. Desperate for attention. Just be quiet. I mean, everybody... I mean, I don't know how many times celebrities need to um, have this told to them. But nobody really cares about their position um, at, at all. And I wanted to look at some of the people, uh, you know, who are getting canceled for signing this letter. Uh, I think that you end up with, uh, you know, a lot of people who uh, don't exactly care about Jordan Peele. You see, no idea why a, a F.A. Jordan Peele would sign this after a career making movies discussing these very subjects. Just a very unserious man. Here's, you see this, here's the full completed list of every celebrity that signed the Zionist propaganda no hostages letter. In this thread, I will break down why what they're doing is harmful and then also block replies. This letter, in this letter, it is presented as if in good nature, but it is not because it lies plainly. And what happens when you lie about what's happening? You cause real Palestinian problems. This is also wants you to believe that Hamas is the one who is, is uh, you know, terrorizing Palestinians when it's actually Israel. What? What? I mean, I, d I don't think that many people uh, are, like many people are denying that there are hostages here. Um, and I think that these weirdo, like communists on Twitter, who, let's see, you have 9,000 followers and you're following 5,500 people, so you're a bot. You know, these people are obsessed you look at, you know, even this, honestly, it's so p pathetic. The Constance Wu and Jordan Peele and David Chang all signed this Zionist Hollywood petition. All of these Hollywood, Hollywood I'd pull obsessed fake progressives can GTFOH forever. 15,000 likes. Clearly, all of them only fight for racial discrimination for themselves. This has been spectacular to watch all of these people you know all these people in hollywood have been courting a lot of these woke ideologues for a very long time it's it's been their life's work to get all these people to follow them and worship the ground they walk on but when push comes to shove now they're getting turned on now again like another weirdo account that's following thousands of people. I always think these are bot accounts. I think it's very unnatural for anyone to be following thousands of people. 
Like it's very maybe I'm we maybe I'm just wrong about that, but to be following thousands of people seems unlike un you know it seems unnatural like unnatural behavior. It seems like a lot of follow for follow bot activity. Then this clip trigger warning. Bobby Lee talks about how and you know this is the Ethan and Ethan Klein you know hope. Uh, hope Ethan and Ela see this. They will call Bobby Lee a Hamas supporter. I don't like Bobby Lee, by the way. Now, Bobby Lee has had some very interesting things in his past, but here's a clip from uh, from his Bad Friends podcast, which is wildly popular. I don't know how I really feel about Bobby Lee. I don't. I mean, I think he can be funny. Um, but he's also kind of degenerate and he's not really for me. Um, but what's interesting is, uh, you know, this podcast is popular. That's what I can, that's what I can say. Here's Steve, <laughs> Steve Byrne calls me and Steve Byrne goes, you want to go to Israel? By the way, this clip is being presented with 52,000 likes. Bobby Lee explains how Israel gets celebrities to peddle their propaganda. And... I guess I I'm not surprised by this, but it's being resurfaced now. I go, why? <laughs> 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 That's my response, right? He goes, it's free. They'll fly you out. You come on. You didn't do birthright and pretended you were Jewish. No, no, no. no. <laughs> by the way, there's a couple of curse words in this. I apologize for that, but it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that. No, but he said, um. No, the the government, Israeli government, is flying out like celebrities for free out there to do a tour for free, and it's on the house. They fly you first class, the whole thing. Wow. And I go. Now I wonder, you know, again, you go then and you look at the list of people that he names off, and I wonder if they also sign this list, and it gets a little more nefarious too. Go, uh, oh, who's going? He goes. It's going to be me, you, George Lopez, Jamie Chung, Brian Greenberg, her husband. I like him. I love him. I, I love Brian, right? And I go, it's free? And he goes, yeah, it's not free. They said, but it's like the fuck of things Wait, about, about Israel. Israel. Yeah. Right. Wait, I skipped it. Her husband. I like okay. him. I love him. I, I love Brian, right? And I go, it's free? And he goes, yeah, it's not free. Because when you land there, they go, you have to every day tweet positive things about, about Israel. Israel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I just felt so uneasy, uh, uneasy about it. Yeah, but couldn't you just go, what, why do you, because you, have, because you have a lot of Palestinian friends? Yeah, I mean, I know some, you know what I mean? I don't know much about it. I just know that they're in conflict and it's just like, but I did, I did what they said. But So he did it anyway. It's like the fucking wrath I got was insane. Insane. What was some of the stuff you tweeted? Jews, oh, just, Jews good, Palestinians yeah. bad. Is that what you tweeted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jew number one. Build the wall higher. What, it, like, what, no, what? it was just basically, you know, oh, um, Palestinians. I uh, know uh, Israel's a beautiful country. Yeah, that's probably true. That's true. It though. is true, but then it's like I had to tag the government in it or whatever. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. The Israeli government. Yeah, that's that's like a whole nother level. Um, <laughs> like you're literally. I mean, I wonder if at the time, you know, I wonder. If he actually, because I think they, um, I'm pretty sure you have to disclose that that would be like a sponsored post, wouldn't it? Like if, let's say hypothetically, you know, um, I don't know, uh, Raid Shadow Legends flew me out to wherever they are, right? And said, oh, you got to say nice things about Raid Shadow Legends. I suspect I'd have to disclose that. So I'm not sure why it would be any different if a government was doing that. You know, the government is paying for you to come there and say nice things about their country. That's a sponsored post, I would imagine. Government? Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's weird as shit. Yeah. And it was just like well, every you, day it was just nonstop. You were cucking for the Israeli government. Yeah, but I wish I hadn't gone really. So now he says, you know, I wish I hadn't gone. And, you know, I think that you see a lot of this, you know, people do bring up, you know, Bobby Lee is a, a certain, he did a certain type of thing with some young people. I don't know if that's true or not, but, you know, people are pointing out, obviously, 
Um, I think that the American government probably does that. Um, I think that many, I mean, certainly like the Russians do that. European countries probably do that. Um, you know, I think that a lot of people probably do that type of thing. But the, the interesting thing is, are they disclosing that it's a paid post? I bet you they're not. You know, I bet you that they're, I bet you they're not. So it's weird now. It's like with AI and all that stuff, we can't, um, you know, we can't, uh, we can't believe the pictures we see, but you know, when somebody goes to some country and it's like, oh, this is so, so great. It's like, I guess if you tag the Israeli government in your post, it's a little more obvious It'd be like, well, why is this person tagging the Israeli government in there? Um, you know, I suppose that would be a little more obvious, but it's awfully curious that like all these, you know, Hollywood people are coming out now. I mean, they're bought and paid for shilling for that country. Um, I've never, and believe me, I've had offers to go and like do personal endorsements, all this kind of stuff. I don't do that. Um, you know, and some of the offers are gigantic, uh, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, but, uh, I don't do that. And I guess I suspect if you're Bobby Lee, you're getting some like, you know, $20,000 ultra first class ticket from LA to Israel. You're staying in some five-star hotel. You're probably also getting paid for your comedy act or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. So when you, when you marry this up with all the people that signed that letter, it is kind of, I'll at least say it's curious to say the least.